What is up? This is your LA in a minute, and I'm here on the Sunset Strip in front of Supreme, the new tenant of what was the landmark Tower Records building, who for almost 40 years was the anchor of the Sunset Strip and iconic in Los Angeles. I want to tell you why, in the constant battle between preserving Los Angeles and looking toward its future, Supreme is the perfect torchbearer for Tower Records and this location. Let's get into it. So before Tower Records opened in 1971 as the first outpost in Los Angeles of the Sacramento-based Tower Records, this area was a drive-in theater in the 40s, a diner in the 50s, and in the 60s, it was where Earl Madman Muntz sold car stereos. Pretty interesting. So the Tower Records building's proximity to some of the most notable music clubs in LA, the Whiskey A Go Go, the Troubadour, meant there was never a shortage of artists that would come in to peruse the vinyl or just to hang out and by 1974 this tower records building the tower records was in the guinness book of world records as the world's largest music store musicians such as rod stewart prince duran duran would perform inside the store or even in the parking lot and that would further enhance the reputation and legendary status of the tower records building Eventually, big box brands and the internet kind of killed off Tower Records business. By 2006, there was no more Tower Records building. So after Tower went out of business in 2006, there were a couple tenants, including Gibson Guitars, for about a year. But nobody really could capture the spirit and the essence of what the Tower Records building meant to the community until Supreme came in. So Supreme is a skateboarding and lifestyle brand that started in 1994 in New York. They had their first location in Los Angeles on Fairfax in 2004, and Los Angeles being the home of skate culture, it was a perfect fit. Now they outgrew that location and they eyeballed this iconic, historic Tower Records location on the Sunset Strip, not just to expand, but to enhance their relationship here in Los Angeles and establish the fact that they really are indeed a Los Angeles company as well. Supreme wanted to pay homage, they wanted to leave the original sign, but they received a cease and desist and some explicit language from the Tower Records holding company to stop all representation of the business. What a shame. So Supreme couldn't pay homage to Tower Records like they would have liked, but they sure paid homage to California with art installations like this skateboard bowl, which actually can be used for skateboarding. And check this out. This wall as well as the ballasts outside are part of the original Tower Records structure, which by the way was assembled by Tower Records employees when it was first built. So while Supreme is an iconic brand from elsewhere, so was Tower Records. And that and the fact that it's truly embraced the culture of Los Angeles make it a perfect torchbearer for this historic location on the Sunset Strip. All right, LA, it's been a minute.